lithium is forecast to grow 20% or so per year. That's five to seven times GDP. So the investment thesis is high, mar high sustainable margins in a mega trend, which is, you know, as we go from 2% penetration to 30% penetration, I see a 10 to 15 year mega trend or longer. And uh, companies that are developing new deposits have significant upside and those who are currently producing should grow two and three and four times over the next kind of three, five, seven years. The question I have in terms of, for viewers, this is a show about six to 24 month time frame in terms of investment. Where would you put your money in this space over that medium term time frame? That time frame is somewhat complicated, mm -hmm. right? Because um, I believe Albemarle should perform very well in that time frame because it's undervalued. It's, it's overall EBITDA, EBITDA rating is lower than it has been historically. So to answer your question about a six to 24 month time frame, I do believe we're in a period, Albemarle stock has grew from 50 or 60 to 140 in, around this time last year, but it's fallen back to $85 but sentiment drove their, when they were at a dollar, 140, their even EBITDA multiple was something like 20, whereas mm -hmm. historically mm -hmm. it was more like 15 or so. So when Bitcoin went up at the end of 2017, like a whole host of, there was a lot of sentiment and risk on um, into commodities, into lithium, partly the Trump uh, tax reform expectation, deregulation, and a lot of that went away in much of last year. So there was a lot of negative headwinds, which has brought Albemarle uh, down. So I believe within this six to 24 month time frame, we're likely to get another price spike. It may not happen until Q4 of this year or early next year or, or sometime next year.